Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Magic. And in today's episode, uh, we are in the nether, at least for now. Um, I'm very, very close to being able to enchant another tool. I want to try again for a better pick, uh, because we did our first enchant yesterday, our first level 30 enchant, or not yesterday, in the last episode, I should say. Uh, and to say that I was disappointed is a little bit of an understatement. We got efficiency four and that was it, <laughs> which was pretty much the worst thing I could possibly have gotten. So I'd like to try again today. Hopefully we'll get fortune or at least unbreaking. Um, and then I can combine the two in an anvil. So we're pretty close to level 30. I'm just basically gathering up stuff in the nether, uh, gathering up quartz until I hit level 30. I, I should be able to get there pretty soon. Uh, just gotta find a little bit more quartz, and... Huh. Actually, you know what? We can probably just get down right here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. We can get up that, right? Almost. Close. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So, uh, let me gather up this, and th actually this will probably be enough right here. And there we go. 30 levels. Awesome. So now I just gotta make it back. Uh, which should be pretty easy to do, actually. Um, it's not super far. Uh, can I scan those guys? Yes? No? No. Nothing to be learned from that. Alright. Let's just... Are they following? No, they're not. Good. Okay, so... In today's episode, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get into some of the other quests a little bit. Um, I did do some mining between episodes, and I got my hands on a respectable amount of coal. Not as much as I would have gotten if I'd had, say, fortune, for example. But, uh, you know, oh, this is, this is not going to be good. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go. Is that stopping? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, portal's marked over there. Um, what I would like to do... Ooh, let's not fall in that hole either. Actually, let's patch that hole. Because I just see that as a recipe for disaster. That's just going to lead to bad things. At some point, I would fall in that, and then I would be very upset with myself. So anyway, um, back into the overworld we go. As I said, I did get myself a respectable amount of coal, so hopefully we'll have enough to do some Botania stuff, do some more stuff with Aura Cascade, perhaps... And, uh, you know, all that other kind of good stuff as well. I also had an unfortunate accident involving a creeper, which made me rather sad. Um, there was a creeper right here outside the door, and I came outside, and of course it went off right there, and there was nothing I could do about it, and it took out a nice portion of my house, so I had to rebuild that. I was a little upset, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It happens. Um, let's just check on our stuff. We've got... That stuff all still being smelted, that stuff all being converted, and looks like our mana is still doing its mana thing. I was feeding these coal blocks. I think I should probably feed them another couple. Let's just grab two coal blocks there, and I'm going to put all of this stuff away. We've got a decent amount of quartz now. Um, and actually, while I'm at it, let's go ahead and make some more living wood, because I'm going to need that for the tools that I'm going to make, because I want to enchant another mana steel pick, and hopefully it'll work. I don't know if that thing is fully grown or not. I think it is. No. No, it wasn't. Okay. Well, we got the belladonna. We got that. Did I get belladonna seeds? I did not. I got our mandrake. No? No, we didn't. Ah, uh, it's so hard to tell when some of this stuff is fully grown. Like, is it? Isn't it? I don't know. I guess I should just be patient and leave it until I know for sure that it's completely grown. Uh, let's see, Belladonna's there, and what's the other one I'm missing? Maybe that was the only one. Yeah, the other one just didn't grow at all. Or the other one I, uh, I already gathered. So I think we're good there. Okay. Anyway... Let's... No, oh, not all of that. Just a little of that. There we go. 
feed those, get that stuff going, uh, because I am going to need some more mana steel. So let's just quick make some mana steel ingots. There we go. And are you done yet? Yes, good. Okay. So we should have everything we need now to make another mana steel pick. Hopefully we'll get a little bit better luck with the enchantment this time around than we than we did last time because last time it was kind of abysmal. It was kind of horrible. Um so let's make two of these living wood twigs and let's go like that. There we go. All right. Try again. Attempt number 2. And Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3. Okay, much better than Unbreaking 4. Um, no fortune, but I'll take it. That's much better than what we had. So, I'll go with it. I'm fine with it. I'm not going to complain about that one. That at least will give us, uh, at least get us at least started. Um, I don't know why I'm putting the snowball in there. That's not really, I don't really know where to put this. I guess in there. Hmm. Anyway, let's see what we can accomplish today. So, let's take a look at Botania, I think. And I think the next step for us for Botania is to make a mana tablet so that we can carry mana around with us because that will actually absorb the damage that this pickaxe takes, uh, takes, which is a really useful thing. So, let's grab some stone, like so. And let's just make some of this. Uh, this is living stone, and it's made the same way as living wood by just doing that. Now, oh, now that, that is grown. That has got to be grown. Okay, yeah, good. So, I wonder if these regrow all the way when you plant the... I don't know. Hmm. Either way, whatever. Or maybe that one just grew super fast, and I just got really lucky. Huh. I don't know. Either way, uh, let's see. Do I have an ender pearl? I do. I want to make an a uh, a mana pearl because there's a couple ways you can make the mana tablet. You can use a mana diamond or you can use a mana pearl. And I think the mana pearl is probably the way to go because I'm really low on diamonds right now. So I think I'm way better off using this instead uh, just because it doesn't seem like quite as much of a resource hog. Are you really not done yet? You're taking forever. Hmm. I wish that would hurry up. Oh, did I just hear it? No. No, I didn't. I'm imagining things. Uh, anyway, uh, the other thing that I would really like to make would be the Ring of Magnetization, which is going to require four mana steel ingots, and then a gold and an iron ink. Actually, it's going to require eight mana steel ingots. But we should have the mana to make that, I think. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Nope. Not quite. Not quite enough. Okay. We will feed our super flower another coal block. We've got one flower uh, that's sitting here on uh, enchanted soil, and that works way faster than the ones that aren't on enchanted soil. So I'll just give those two coal blocks to him. Hopefully we'll have enough here pretty soon. Uh, we also need a little bit of glass. So let's just give... Wow, that was quick. Do we only need the one glass? I think we may only need the one glass. Yep, we only need the one glass. Uh, let's go ahead and make that little part of it right there. So, uh-huh. There we go. There's the mana lens. And then I need... Oh, I don't actually have any gold. I've got gold nuggets. I've got gold over here that's, like, in the process of being converted into other stuff. So I guess this will work. This will be fine. Let's just toss you. There we go. And I need one gold ingot, and then the rest of you can be converted as we go. Cool. So, we'll go you, you, and you, and that will make the magnetizing lens. And then, hopefully, there will be enough mana in here now for two more ingots. Yes, good. 
Cool. And that gives us the Ring of Magnetization, which will make my life a lot easier. Um, you will go in here, I guess. I don't really know where else to put him. That'll do. Okay, cool. Now, by now, the living rock should be done, or the living stone. I forget which is... Oh, hmm. I had forgotten that the Ring of Magnetization is totally going to mess up my Aura Cascade stuff. So I'll have to be careful with wearing it. Let's just take it off. Totally didn't even think about that. You go back there. And you go in there. Okay. Doing things you're not supposed to. I see how it is. Trying to torment me. Uh, so, let's go ahead and make a mana tablet. And a mana tablet is made just... Oh, that's the runic altar. Is it like that? There we go. Mana tablet. So, there we go. We got ourselves a mana tablet. Let's go ahead and claim that reward. And that will actually give us a second mana tablet. Unfortunately, neither one of them is entirely useful for us right now. Because neither one of them has any mana in them. So, let's also take a look and see if we go into the quest book. Uh... Oh, it doesn't look like there's actually a quest for the Ring of Mana. Hmm. Let's just look at it over here, because I do want to make that Band of Mana. That's what it's called. And that's four Mana Steel ingots and a Mana Tablet. Um, Which we may be able to make. I definitely want to make it, I definitely want to make a, uh, a mana tablet, so, uh, we're gonna go for it, we're gonna go for it, and hopefully there'll be enough. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. We are set. So, let's go ahead and make that as well, and those two rings combined together will just make life easier in general. Although I don't really have a way to, I don't really need that yet, until I get some more mana built up. Uh, over there in the mana pool. So, we're good there. Now, I also need to make a runic altar and an alchemy catalyst. Let's take a look at the alchemy catalyst and see what is required for that. I believe it's more than I can... Yeah. I'm going to need some blaze rods. And I don't think I have found another fortress yet. Everything else should be pretty easy to make, though. Let's also convert these guys, and let's make some more living stone. And then maybe we'll head back into the nether and see if we can track down another fortress. Because that is definitely going to be something that I'm going to need, without a doubt. I am a little disappointed that I didn't find one before when I was looking, but sometimes that happens. Did I? Oh, okay. I guess I did both of them at once. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, the alchemy catalyst, though, is not going to be something I can make right this very second anyway. <clears throat> so, let's see. Um, it's getting dark. Let me take a nap. Let me get some stuff together, guys. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So, I've got everything I need to make the runic altar, which is good. So, we got that made. And that should complete this quest. Gives us a reward bag. I already know how the how most of this part of Botania works, so I'm not. I'm just kind of skipping through these quests. I kind of already know uh, a lot of this stuff. Block of mana steel. Okay. Reward bag or block of mana steel? I'm thinking block of mana steel. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Unlanked link book and a book stand. I'm guessing those are from Mistcraft, which is a mod that I have really never played around with at all and that I'm completely new to, so I have no idea what those do. But I do know that the runic altar is eventually going to have to go down there. However, we're going to need some other stuff first before we do that too. So for the time being, uh, I'm just going to kind of hold on to that and we'll just let it be. Um, now... I think we do need to go into the nether and see if we can track down uh, a nether fortress so I can get a couple of blaze rods. So I think that's probably our next step. And uh, 
yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna head into the nether, guys, and I will see you in just a little bit. Alright, guys, I am back, and, uh, just wanted to quickly share with you, well, I'm here, I might as well get all the quartz that I can as well and try to get up to another level, th uh, another 30 level enchant. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna find a nether fortress right away. I may have to be, I may have to look for a while. Um, but, while I'm on the way, I might as well get the experience. So, that's kind of the other thing that I'm gonna be doing while I'm in here. And, uh, is that a... Oh, I thought I saw one over there. Man. Nothing. Nothing to be seen for a, quite a distance. This could be quite the trip. This could be uh, quite the search. Hopefully we'll get lucky and I'll find something relatively soon. All right, guys, I am back. Just wanted to bring you a little bit of an update. I've been looking now for probably about, oh, 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. And really no luck. My poor, I've gone over there quite a ways, over here quite a ways. And it seems like I'm pretty much, like, on an island, um, which is not great. Um, uh, can I make that without dying? I think, well, there's my question. I guess the answer is yes. Uh, so, I think I'm just gonna kind of go off in this direction, and hopefully there will be another fortress somewhere around here. I haven't seen anything anything yet and that concerns me more than a little what in the world is that that's like stone brick and stuff what hold on this i need to see this is why i brought cobble with me this is news to me um i don't know how many blocks that is but I'll just make the bridge one wide to make sure I have enough cobble to get over there. What in the world is this thing? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Oh, I hear skeletons, though. Um. Okay. Hopefully we will have enough cobble to fill in the bridge all the way. Yeah, we will. Okay. Okay, let's try this out. What is what is this thing? Is there are there cool things here that I can find? Is this like Oh, this is this is a roguelike dungeon in the Nether. Okay. So, that's a thing. Um I don't know if I want to go anywhere near this, but I will take some of the stuff, I guess. If I can find some easy chests, we might as well grab what we can. Iron 3, highly durable. I have a feeling it's not that durable. Um. Oh, man. I don't even know. I don't, I feel like I shouldn't be in here. But at the same time, we might be able to find some good stuff and... I mean, this is not a substitute for another fortress. Oh, boy. That's that's an effect spider. Go away, spider. That's a fiery spider. I don't like... Oh, man. This is not good. This was a terrible plan. Why did I go in here? This was an absolutely horrendous decision. Let's let's not... Let, uh, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving right after I check this chest. Um, torches. I'll, I, I take you. I take you, too. Okay. Time to go. Well, we still can, while we're still alive, before things get horribly out of control. Um, I totally did not even know that roguelike dungeons could spawn in the nether. I didn't know that was a thing until, like, right now. And I have a mod pack that includes ro roguelike dungeons. So, I learned something entirely new today. Now, most of this stuff is going to be pretty much useless. Uh, we've got Protection 1... Seems to have less durability than normal. That actually... But it's got Unbreaking 2 on it. That actually might be useful. Um, let's actually take that with us. And I guess we'll take the Protection 1. And... Uh, what do I not need? I don't need that. I did not know this was a thing. 
How did I not know this was a thing? Like, you'd think. Oh, that's, that's, that's bad. All right, we're not going that way anymore. We're leaving. Yes, we're, we're, uh, okay. In all seriousness, I need to get out of here, and I need to find another fortress where I can get blaze rods, uh, not a roguelike dungeon where I can get murdered. So, we need, uh, which way do we need to go? We need to go basically through the dungeon. Awesome. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go around the roguelike dungeon if we possibly can, because I don't want to deal with it. And that's one of those dogs, but I think he'll leave us alone. Yeah, good. Okay, so that was new. That was very, that was new to me. Um, and that's probably still the same roguelike dungeon over there. I wonder if the mod pack has been modified so that, no, this is, this is probably all the same roguelike dungeon. Because roguelike dungeons, if, if you've never, like, if you're unfamiliar with them, they're pretty big. Like, they're huge. So, this is quite possibly all one big roguelike dungeon. Um, as large as that thing seems. I'm pretty sure it's all one. Okay, so, uh, let's see. I guess we'll just kind of continue our search and see what we come across. So, I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. Alright guys, I am back. I see nether brick. That is a beautiful thing. That means that what I'm looking for is directly above me. So, I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's just kind of work our way up here. This has efficiency 2 on it, right? Yeah, okay. Um, and only ahead 171 durability, so not exactly amazing as far as the durability goes, but I'll take it, you know? It's a free pick, it'll get the job done, at least for now. And given that everything else is, you know, kind of hard to come by since we're pretty early in the pack, um, I think I'm fine with it. Now, how in the world... Where is... Oh, that was... That was not what I wanted to do. That is lava, which is just definitely not what I want to do. Where in the world is... I saw another brick. Ah, man. You know what? It's probably easier if I just kind of come at it from a different angle. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see. So we need to go kind of this way. Like so. And then over. And up, right? Hopefully. In. Into the fortress. Yes! Fortress! Found! Awesome! So let's just put a torch down there. Okay. Cool. So now we need to find blazes. Hopefully this will be easier than finding the nether fortress was. I'm feeling relatively confident. Um, let's just block that off so we can actually get over there and plug that hole. Wait for the lava to drain. Come on, go lava. There we go. Um, Pretty much a dead end. Anything? Yeah, it's completely a dead end. Pretty much useless. Okay. So, not that way. Let's try this way. Hopefully this will not be world's most, like, anticlimactic nether fortress, because that would be horrible. Uh, like, if there were no blazes, I would be a very, very sad individual. Ooh, blazes! Speaking of which, found them. Okay, cool. Kill the blaze. Oh, that's a that's a very nasty blaze. That's like a special superpower blaze, and I'm being attacked by other things. What is going on? Oh, it's an infested blaze that spawns these little spider guys. Oh no 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 no! I want no piece of that. Okay, give me the blaze rods. Uh, what do I not need? I don't need the string, and I don't need the flint. And I th actually that's that's just like everything right there. We need to regenerate our health. I was totally not... Actually, you know what? I've got the Splash Potion of Regeneration. Let's use that. Might as well put it to use. Because otherwise I'm going to stick it in a chest and I'm never actually going to use it. Undying Blaze. Great. What? What? I had 
regeneration. I was like, like full health. What in the world? How did I? D wow. I just got completely wrecked. Like straight up destroyed. Okay. So let's look at swords. Is the Thaumium sword or the Mana Steel sword better? I think they're pretty much even. Okay. Well, I definitely need to get my stuff back. There's probably going to be a lot of dying involved. So guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.